Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe and today we're going to be talking about Wacom tablets. I've got some really great tips for you and also I'm going to show you how you can win a brand new Intuos Pro. So it's just the same as this one right here is Intuos Pro Medium. Watch the end of this video and I'm going to tell you how you can win it. We're going to give one away. All right, so we're gonna get started on five tips for working with the Wacom tablet. The very first one, dodging and burning. Okay, so here we've got a photograph and what we wanna do is create a dodging and burning layer. So I'm just gonna hold down the Alt key or that would be Option on Mac. And I'm just gonna click on the new layer icon. This will come up with options. So I'm just gonna choose overlay for the mode. You could fill up 50% gray if you want, but that's not necessary, but we will. Now we're gonna hit the D key to reset the foreground background color. So the foreground color is black and the background color is white. Now I wanna turn this opacity up to about 30 is good enough. That'll actually work quite well. Now I'm gonna show you the tablet part. So what we're gonna do is go into our tablet preferences here. And that's one of the things you do wanna make sure is that uh, you have the Wacom driver installed. This is not a tip, but that's an additional tip. If you don't have the driver installed, you're not gonna get a lot of functionality out of the tablet. So you can just grab that from the Wacom site, just go to support, and then at the top it has drivers, click there, grab the driver. All right, so here's the tip. A part of this pen that is very rarely used is the eraser. People think all you do is just erase things. So what we can do is we can actually set a keyboard shortcut here. So under the eraser, I'm gonna change it to a keystroke and for the keystroke you guessed it I'm gonna hit the X key the X switches foreground and background colors and that's all I'm gonna do so I just take our pen here and I just tap it on the tablet and notice it changes between foreground and background okay so now if I take my pen and I'm painting and I'm gonna switch between black and white which would be dodging and burning flip the pen around and just tap and see that how we can quickly change between foreground and background color. So let me demonstrate. I'm gonna make the brush bigger. Make sure you turn on the pressure. And then I'm just gonna do some really, really basic dodging and burning. So let me do the burning first, just like really quick. Just darken around the edges. Let's just do kind of more of a vignette kind of thing. And maybe fill in some shadows. So just kind of darkening those shadows down a little bit. Now, now when I'm ready to paint with light, all I can do is flip the pen around, tap, now I'm painting with white. And we can go on top of here. All right, so if we look at the before and the after. All right, tip number two. Have you ever noticed that you're drawing and for some reason, you know, you're trying to draw perfect circles, but your circles get squashed or they get stretched. Let me show you something really interesting. If you're using your tablet on your default setting, depending on your setup, but, and then I'm gonna draw and so we can get a perfect circle. Now you might do this, you know, if you don't have a stencil, you could use a toilet roll, you could use all kinds of things for this and look, Notice that it's squashed. It's not actually drawing a circle. And that's because the aspect ratio of your tablet is different than the aspect ratio of your screen. Let me show you how to fix that. So we just go down to the preferences. We go to our tablet preferences. Then what we want to do is we want to click on mapping. And you'll notice here, there it is. If we turn on force proportions, now watch what happens when we go to draw. Let me go over here, we'll draw a circle using that stencil. And look at that, now we've got a perfect circle. All right, tip number three, if you're working on Windows and you put your pen down and you see that annoying ring come up, maybe you found uh, different ways you've been trying to get rid of that. Well, there's actually two places we need to get rid of it. And we're gonna do that right now, but I'm gonna magically switch to a Windows desktop. Okay, so here we are on Windows, let's create a new layer. And we're going to grab our brush tool by just tapping the brush key or the B key. So now this is something that happens if you click and hold. You see that little circle thing that appears and you can't really paint. It's really annoying, right? Okay, so there's two places to get rid of this. So we're just going to go onto the Windows menu and we're going to click on Settings. Go to Devices. 
under devices go down to pen and windows ink turn visual effects off okay that's the first thing now the second thing we want to do is we're just going to tap our windows key there and we're going to type in control panel so we go to our control panel and this is on windows 10 by the way then we're going to go to hardware and sound go down to pen and touch this is where it's actually being moved to and then when this pops open we're going to go to press and hold under pen options click on settings and all we need to do now is turn off enable press and hold for right clicking click OK and make sure we choose apply all right close everything down go back to Photoshop now we grab our pen and we click and hold and look at that voila now we get to draw exactly how we would like all right tip number four a feature dropped inside Photoshop CC 2018 makes it easy for us to draw so for people that are doing any kind of drawing or sketching we've got this pen smoothing for the brush tool and look at this so it makes it easy to draw curves you know it just makes things nice and smooth and that's great if you're drawing or painting however if you're doing photographic work like dodging and burning and stuff like that and precise smooth pen strokes are not important for example you're not doing illustration turn that pen smoothing off because watch how it affects the performance on your computer see that's kind of slow if I take the pen smoothing all the way down look at that it's instant it follows you around so that's tip number four all right, tip number five, and I'm actually going to give you a double part. So there's really going to be six tips in here. Make sure you turn the touch on on your tablet if you have a tablet that supports it. And it's just a little switch on the side there. Then take three fingers and tap with three fingers. Brings up the radio menu. This radio menu, if you're working on an older tablet that doesn't support touch, you can also enable the radio menu with your pen, like one of these pen buttons or even one of the buttons here on your tablet. So you have a lot of options there. So here we go. Let's click on the little gear icon and let's customize this. So notice where it's sitting here. It's under functions and it's under on screen control controls. Okay, so on the radio menu, we have the option to set keyboard shortcuts and all kinds of things so we don't run out of express keys. As much as we love these express keys here, which I really do, there's only eight of them. By using the radio menu, you can extend that and have all the keyboard shortcuts and little tricks and tips and stuff like that from Photoshop right there at your fingertips. And I said I was kind of like a five and a half or tip number six really is once you've customized this, you've set your touch rings, you've set your express keys, you've set your radio menus and all of that, you really want to be able to back that up. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to type in tablet. Welcome tablet utility. And if we open the welcome tablet utility right here, we can actually back up our settings. And we're going to call it Colin Welcome. And you know, I might just dump that on my desktop for now and then click save. And then later on, you want to bring it in, just click restore. And there it is right there. Click open and all your settings get restored. So this is really useful if you're using different tablets or even if you're going between different computers and you're taking your tablet with you, you can save all the settings and all the pen settings, the tablet settings, everything will be on there. So, all right. This is what we're doing right now. I'm going to give away this Wacom Intuos Pro. Actually, it's going to be a brand new one. We're going to ship it to you. So what we're going to do is in two weeks time, and I'll put the date right there in the comments so you know exactly when it's going to be. We're going to do a live stream. And on that live stream, we're going to do a drawing. So to enter, it's two simple things you got to do. Number one, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, which is Photoshop Cafe. And number two, make sure right here inside of YouTube, drop us a comment. Tell us why you'd like to win this tablet. And it can be something funny. It doesn't have to be serious. We're not going to pick the best answer. <laughs> what we're actually going to do is we're just going to draw at random. So you want to win a Wacom tablet in two weeks time? Subscribe, add a comment. We're going to go through the comments and we're going to randomly draw a winner. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, smash that like button, 
into dust. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button right now. Drop a comment. Be in the running to win this beautiful Wacom tablet. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.